trick. Right, first of all, don't look into the makeup too much. I was messing around, I was trying to learn how to do a cut crease and stuff, but like, I thought I'd go a bit wacky. So yeah, here we are. Just ignore that. I'm sorry to do it for another video because it's a bit full on. <laughs> I've actually wanted to speak about this for a while, but I didn't really know how to approach the subject. Obviously it's been on social media a lot. It's basically the abuse that Molly May has gotten from her pictures, which I'll put up here. It's not the abuse from the newspaper necessarily, from Daily Mail themselves. It's the abuse in the comments that kind of shook me. So essentially I wasn't going to do a video just on the whole Molly May thing. I wasn't even going to do a video on anything at all. Then I kind of researched it a bit and looked into Daily Mail. Like I downloaded the app, I didn't have it before because I don't really look at tabloids. I looked at the app and I went on to like some similar posts. I went, I went on to these posts and I was looking at comments in these things to see if it was just like a one-off and Molly May was just targeted or if it was like all of them. And I'll show you what I found because it's actually disgraceful. These women are being slated. Even if Daily Mail haven't been harmful towards them, they've actually just said, look how amazing this person looks or whatever, the comments are terrible. And this is happening to every every girl on there pretty much. Obviously there are some nice comments as well, but they're very, very sparse. I just went onto the Daily Mail homepage, well not homepage, I went onto the UK showbiz kind of section. The headlines are good, it says Colleen Rooney catches the eye in a flattering burgundy swimsuit. Blah, blah, blah. Love Island's Rebecca showcases her toned bikini body. Blah, blah, blah. The articles are actually quite nice. They're just saying, oh look how good this person looks in a swimsuit, look at this. It's just the comments, genuinely. If we've learned nothing from Caroline Flack or like anyone who's in the spotlight and has taken their own life, surely it's not to be a troll on the internet. So the first one I saw was Louise Thompson showcases her ripped physique in a white ruffle bikini after an early morning workout in Mykonos, which like shows her holding a toothbrush and she's really toned. If you follow Made in Chelsea, then you probably know she has um, her fiance now, I think, pretty sure. Ryan is a PT and she got really fit when she got with him. And she's got like Live Like Louise now, which is like her own brand. And she's just really cool, I think. Some of the workouts you do, I'm like, ah. But yeah, so it basically just said, la la la, it showed a picture of her working out with a resistance band, and the resistance band was blue, and it matched her sunglasses, I think she looks pretty damn cool. So, some of the comments. The thing is, there's so many that I'm just going to pick out the main ones which I think are a bit ridiculous, to be honest. The first one was, shame she has the reputation of sleeping with anyone she sees, sad woman who is self-obsessed, it's really sad. First of all, even if she does sleep around, that's none of anyone's business. It's not a bad thing to have a big number. And also, that's not what this article is about. It's not, oh, she works out loads. Oh, but shame she sleeps around. Really? Sad woman who's self-obsessed. I don't think she is self-obsessed. She likes working out. That's her body. That's what her job is now. You wouldn't say that of a bodybuilder. You'd be like, oh my god, this is so self-obsessed. No. She's a fun sponge and then the same person is she's such a bore. Do you know her? Probably not. I mean, if you do and you're saying that, that's a bit rude. Essentially, you don't know her, so how can you have that kind of image of her in your head? Like, you only know what you see on Made in Chelsea and she's not even on it anymore for much. She's on like one snippet. If anything, you can't really take what a person is in their whole life from one TV show. I think that's a bit ridiculous, to be honest. So bloody bored of hearing about Z-list Louise Thompson. So why are you clicking on the link and opening it then? Just don't comment. Louise Thompson showcases her ripped physique in a white ruffle bikini after early morning workout in Mykonos because she's an extreme narcissist who craves attention of others to justify her existence. Really? What is the point in writing these comments? Obviously that was the article title but added on with extreme narcissist who craves the attention of others. No, that's her job. She's basically, she is an influencer. She has an online business called Live Like Louise and I think she does resistance band as well, I'm not sure. Her job is being an influencer, her job is putting it online. So it's not crazy attention of others to justify her existence. She gets paid for it, do you? Probably not. Sorry, I'm getting so sassy with these. I just don't get why people troll people online. It just makes no bloody sense. Are you just not happy in your own life? I don't know. Oh, and a really derogatory one. I'd hammer her. If you got the chance, doubt you would ever. 
Everything has to be over-sexualised on the internet, it's ridiculous. And I'll leave you this with this one because I think this one's actually a bit ridiculous. Great body, except she probably works out four hours a day just to upload selfies, etc. What a waste of a life, can't be enjoyable. Have a fish supper for good sake. No. If she works out four times a day, fair enough, but sometimes if you work out that much, you actually don't get results because you tire your body so much that it doesn't gain muscle and things like that. So really, she's probably not. She probably has clients for four or more hours a day, in which case she's working, but she's probably not actually exercising at those points. Just, what a waste of a life can't be enjoyable. It's her life. Let her do as she pleases. I just... I, I don't get some people. Why do you have to be so rude? I don't know. So I thought that was ridiculous. Louise Thompson has her own business. She's an influencer. All these comments are completely uncalled for. People really need to be careful what they say because okay, yeah, she might not see all these comments because to be honest, if I was a celeb and I was getting comments like these, I would just never go online because I wouldn't want to see them. I mean, obviously I'd still be online, but like I wouldn't look at the comments. I'd just be like, yeah, screw it. What's the point? It's just keyboard warriors you don't even know them you don't know their personality which all louise is a really nice person yeah you can't actually take anything away from that there are obviously more but i'm only going to do three or four right so this one is about rebecca gormley i didn't really recognize her surname to be honest but she is from love island is it last year it was with shauna and everyone so it was that like january i think i need to stop watching tv <laughs> The headline is Love Island's Rebecca Gormley showcases her toned bikini body in gold and snake print <laughs> snakeskin print swimwear as she hits the beach in Marbella. Decent title. It's just saying she's wearing a bikini. Look at this bikini. So she looks pen, by the way. I mean, not that that actually matters because we're all humans and it shouldn't have to be like, oh, you look amazing to be like, oh, you look amazing. Everyone looks amazing. Quite well proportioned. Pneumatic. I don't know, yeah, it must be how you pronounce it. Pneumatic and perky, hmm. Six out of ten, maybe? What? Ugh. Why are you taking a number out of ten and putting it on a woman's appearance? That's not okay. You can't just be like, oh, you're six out of ten, maybe, or any number out of ten. Stop basing your weird little thoughts on a scale. Everyone has a different scale. It just really aggravates me. You shouldn't be able to hold a pencil under your boob until in, you're in your 50s. But like, you can't even. I'm looking at this picture and I'm not being funny. I could definitely hold a pencil under my boob. It depends on the size and also genetics. And also, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Gorgeous. This one pissed me off. Sorry, this one really annoyed me. Gorgeous. Even the cellulite doesn't put me off. Newsflash, everyone has cellulite. Okay, you might not if you're 18, but you're gonna probably get it. It's genetics. You can't get rid of it, so don't believe a lot of the stuff that's online. <laughs> Even the cellulite doesn't put me off. Do you know what? Some of these men, and the majority of them are men, I really hope they don't talk to their children like this. Like, would they talk to their daughters like this? Or their wives? Because, like, that's like emotional abuse if they do. I don't know if it actually is. It probably is. I probably would. Nah. Great body looks about 50 years old with that face. And another one, great body, she's never 22 though, maybe 32. That's just age a thing. Like, also, why does it matter? Looks 50 years old with that face. I can't even see her face, she's got massive sunglasses on. And even if she did look old, it doesn't matter. Oh, give up. Beautiful posterior she's got. I've just read one and I think this is disgusting. She should put a bag over her head with that face. And this person is from Leicester. Well, enjoy your lockdown in Leicester then. You stay there, we'll stay in the rest of the world where it's actually nice to be a nice person. I want to see their face. No, I'm joking, that's mean. Don't do as, like, you would be done by. Do as you should do. They're just a keyboard warrior who doesn't actually know anything. <laughs> Trying to keep my cool. <laughs> so that was the second one, and I think that... <sighs> the third one is Millie Macintosh. One sec. I'm back. So the third one is Millie Macintosh. Article title is... Millie McIntosh poses in a plunging swimsuit as she dotes on baby Sienna on their first family holiday to Santorini. What a lovely title, right? They've just had a baby, her and Hugo. 
I know a lot about showbiz. <laughs> They've just had their baby. Yeah, why not? First holiday, that's a good title. Daily Mail aren't necessarily doing anything wrong, I don't think, anyway. Have a look at some of the comments. There are a few pictures on her. There's one of Millie on her own in a bathing suit. And there's one of her holding the baby, obviously, because she's a new mum. So she has to be with the baby all the time, which is fair enough. She probably doesn't have a nanny out there. She might, but she doesn't. And then there is a story picture where she's holding Sienna, the little baby, who's actually quite cute. Because she's a mum, she's going to be holding her child. And it says, a white summer dress is one of my holiday essentials. And then she's put... The company it's from while holding the baby. So some of the comments on here are more to do with her using the baby as a selling point which is a bit ridiculous because one in that like she's an influencer same as everyone technically who's a celeb or has got a presence on social media. She's holding the baby because she just had a baby so she's not going to be away from her child for long is she and two she's an influencer so she's going to be posting in her story she's going to tag the outfit that she's wearing or whatever because it's if you don't do it then loads of messages fill up your inbox like where's the dress from where's the dress from where's the dress from so it's so much easier just to post where the dress is in in the initial photo you learn this the hard way by the way because then you can't reply to everyone and then you feel really bad and then you just end up putting up another story being like oh sorry i forgot to tag the dress she's not even using the baby she's literally holding her own baby like a mother would be normally and then someone put sell 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 so classy millie it's her job! She's an influencer! I don't get why people are having such a big meltdown over the fact that they're selling stuff online, or not even selling stuff online, being an affiliate or having a link. That's a normal thing nowadays. One of them says, this is from a girl by the way, um, she should have named her daughter hashtag ad, as that's the only pictures she puts up of her is when she's as that's the only pictures she puts up of her is when she promotes something. One, that is not grammatically correct. Two, she doesn't. I checked this out by the way. She's put multiple pictures on her Instagram of her and the baby without trying to sell anything, without selling something. Obviously, if it's a baby product, aka a stroller or like something for bath time, I don't know, I don't know, have a baby, then you're gonna do that. But there are multiple, there's more pictures of her with Sienna and not promoting something than there are with. Oh, I just don't get it. Like, she's a mum. Where did you expect her to put the baby while she's promoting stuff? just in the other room on its own when it's a three month old baby. No! Can't they just enjoy the holiday without posting these stupid posed photos every five minutes? Genuinely no one cares. If no one cares, Bella J5, why are you commenting? Some people do want to see this stuff. Some people live vicariously through others. I definitely do. I see influencers on boats and I'm like, damn, I want to be that. But I'm not because I'm not rich. That's their job. They post these photos because they have to keep up engagement and that's what influencers do. And also, because I use Instagram, my personal Instagram, for a memory bank. I look back at it and think, oh, that was a really nice time. Oh, I really enjoyed that. All right, where was I? I think I completely forgot. Some people are just rude. This comment says the baby, that baby, what I can see of her is gorgeous. Please, she doesn't look like Hugo with his long head. Why do people feel the need to comment on how a baby looks? Like, it's a baby. Let it live without having to look at these comments later on in life with the pressure already from society, which you've literally just proven. It's disgraceful. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make with these kind of reading through the comments and stuff is that people just shouldn't be trolling people online. One of the reasons I made this kind of video is because I actually did get trolled last week. It wasn't really a big troll. To be honest, I wasn't that worried. It was an account from a young girl, 13, and not expecting anyone at that age to know any better. <sighs> I don't know. You are naive and you aren't young, and if anyone's going to be like that, I'd rather it come from a three-year-old, or not three-year-old, a 13-year-old, than a fully grown adult who actually knows the damage it can do. Posted on quite a few of the comments already there from other girls saying, is it amazing or is it just Photoshop? This is fake, la la la, all this stuff. And on loads of different people's comments. So obviously these people replied to these comments and then it start, sparked a bit of like controversy and back and forth between these people. Um, I ended the comments by just saying, hi, at blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry that you feel that way. In the future, I will take a live photo so that I can actually show you that these aren't photoshopped. The comments didn't actually hurt that much because I knew they weren't photoshopped. So it didn't, it didn't really affect me that badly. But 
if someone had commented saying you're too fat or I can see cellulite or something like that that's something I can't change that's something that is an insecurity obviously a lot of like every girl I know has insecurities about things like this and it would, probably would upset me a little bit and genuinely can't comprehend how people still are being rude to other people online just because there's this barrier of the internet and kind of desensitizing actual personal connection between that it doesn't mean there isn't a person on the other end and it doesn't mean it gives you the kind of go ahead to just mentally abuse someone online i just think i probably wasn't perfect when i was 13 which is why i personally have said to this not said to this girl but in my head i was like I'm just gonna leave it it's not her fault, she's just young. So I know that being young is gonna be a bit different, but what I'm saying is those of you who aren't young enough and actually do kind of see the things, whether it be on the news or online, about all these people getting so much hate, becoming massively depressed, and unfortunately ending their own lives, please, please, please think before you type. You can easily keep your mouth shut if you don't agree with something. If it's actually going to affect someone's mental capacity to love themselves, don't write anything. Just unfollow that person if you don't like their content and you don't want to see cellulite or you don't want to see whatever and just don't do anything. It's literally easier than writing something and yet people are still continuously bashing celebs. It's not okay. So I'm going to end this video. If you did want to help and get involved, there's a basically a petition going on at change.org and it is to get the comment section of the Daily Mail removed. This was obviously sparked after the Molly May kind of situation where some of the comments on that were horrible and she's done a little video on it on Loose Women if you did want to go and check that out as well. But essentially go and sign the petition and to be honest that's all we really can do and it also just keep spreading awareness about not trolling people online. Most of the girls in my community online I know never do that because they are so lovely and supportive and everything but there are still obviously people out there who follow your page who probably would do it. So yeah just be cautious and keep spreading positive love. That's the end of my video now and if you liked it don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next week for another vlog.